Hey everybody, it's Tamika and I'm back with a design team project for the Cutting Cafe. And this week's design team challenge, um, we were to use the hot chocolate holder or the uh, tea bag holder and there's also a shaped Christmas cards holder. I will, or shaped Christmas cards. I will post the link to all three files below. I'm going to show you um, what I created and then I'm also going to do a quick tutorial on how I made the base of the boxes. The first thing I want to share with you is my hot chocolate holder. And it's so cute! It's so cute. I just love it. Uh, okay. Well, this is what I did. As you can see, it's pretty dimensional. Very cute. Very quick and easy to put together. And then I used um, one of the printable images from the Cutting Cafe. And this is Alicia Jean, and she is wrapped, uh, holding a little Christmas present. I used my copic markers to color her up. Um, I just used a Sizzix die for the frame, and then I just outlined it with some of the paper collection. And this paper collection is uh, the printery paper collection from Prima that I got from Shantae in our birthday swap. I also um, hand, um, I cut out some roll flowers from the same paper collection. I'll have pictures at the end of this video so you guys can see this a little better. And then here is um, one of the sentiments from the Cutting Cafe. It says, wishing you a cup full of cheer. So cute. I'll, I outline the top of the cocoa box with some black pearls. And then here's the back. And I used some pink sheer ribbon um, to, to tie it all together to hold it close. So just have a little bowl here on the side. And the recipient, once they receive it, would just untie this bow. And then it opens like that. Look how neat that is. I absolutely love playing with this. These are also two um, tags from the same collection. It says hot cocoa mix just for you. So all they would have to do once you put it together is you just take out your little, I chose to wrap my hot cocoa up because I didn't like the big blue and white Swiss mist on top of here. It didn't go with the paper collection. So I covered it up in some of the pattern paper. And I also backed um, the cop, the, um, I also put some um, pattern paper in the background of it. So it can just be all cohesive. So all I would do is just slide, um, slide this back in here like so. Very cute. It's so cute. I love it, love it, love it. It's very easy to put together. So that's one project that I created. And then I also did um, one of the other files. It was the um, tea bag holder. Let me show you guys that. It's so tiny. It's so cute. It's so stinking cute. And this is, this is adorable. Uh -huh. It's very cute how I put it together. Well, it's simple. It comes a file. It's very simple. But I just um, have a different closure, and I'll show you guys. So one of the sentiments on the, in the collection says, I hope you feel better soon. You guys can see. I used um, some of the same paper from the printery collection. I used my MFT die to roll up some mini um, flower, flower rosettes. And I also outlined the tea bag box with some of the same black pearls. And there's the side and back. Very cute. And since this was so small and I really just wanted it to be just nice and neatly packaged. I just added some of the pattern paper underneath the before I put this sheet down I put a closure. Before I put the sheet down on the front and the back I closed it once I was done decorating the inside with the, another piece of the pattern paper. So all the recipient would have to do is just break the seal. Instead of having like I did this with the bow on the side which is fine or you can just leave it open as you know as it is I just thought I'd do something different with this. So that's that. I also have some um, Martha Stewart butterflies on adorning here and here. Two layers there. I love how these roses came out. So I'm going to break the seal. So all they would have to do is just literally take that off. And then they open it up. And then inside they have, well, I just broke the seal because I was frozen. And then inside they would have the two teas. So this would be the chamomile citrus tea. And just slide it out. I did the backs as well on these. So yeah, all you have to do is just slide these little packets back in. You can attach yourself a little note to this package if you want. And it's very cute. 
Hope you feel better soon. Just something to give to somebody neatly packaged and everything. So these are the two projects that I created. And like I said, there'll be pictures at the end. And let me show you quickly how I made the um, cocoa, the bigger one, the hot cocoa mix file. So when you print it off, is a you have this in a PDF and in a SVG or WPC file. It, and it already comes perforated, so it's quite easily put together. Put together. So all I would do is just fold at the perforated marks like that, and then this folds up. So you can see how it would come together just like that. And then this is kind of a guide. Fold that backwards and fold this backwards. So all you would have to do is just add some adhesive down this line. So, so that can stay closed and then just a little adhesive on the side I actually put mine uh, adhesive here and a little adhesive here so that I can close that and that'll leave just a little bit of room for you to stick your your tea bag I mean your hot cocoa bag in so that's that's that and like I said you can put this in a PDF file as well so that's how quick and easily it comes together and then um, for the hot tea bag or the tea bag same same thing only this one has little score marks so you would just follow along the score marks and just make sure you use your bone folder for this I got some pretty thick um, cardstock so it would fold there and then there's another score mark here and then there are Score marks here, fold up. And then of course I'm you like I said, you want to use your bone folder. You can get nice crisp ends. So that's that. So all you want to do is add some adhesive down the middle, add your pattern paper, and you have your tea bag holder. And then you have your hot cocoa folder. So, like how those turned out, I'll post the link below to, like I said, the tea bag and the hot cocoa, and also the shaped Christmas card set to the Cutty Cafe. Thanks, guys, for watching. Have a good night.